Watching the world burn, watching the world burn. June 19th, 2024. Let's get into it. I guess the first piece of news I got here, this just came out 10 minutes ago. And so I wanted to get on top of this right away. So uh, if you didn't know, uh, Israel and Hezbollah, uh, Israel just rejected any sort of uh, peace treaty or I guess an agreement with Hezbollah. And uh, it really looks like they're going to go to war. I mean, uh, well, I mean, they're already at war. They've been shooting at each other, but uh, it hasn't been, you know, full-fledged. Uh, but this is what Syed Hassan Nasrallah's promise to the Israelis and I'm going to read this to you. That's why I got my glasses on. Let me get back to the beginning. But I, with absolute clarity, you hit our cities, we hit your cities. You hit our villages, we hit your settlements. You hit the Martyrs Rafio at Hari International Airport in Beirut. We will hit Ben Guan Airport in Tel Aviv. We destroy a building in Daya. We destroyed buildings in Tel Aviv. So I just want to let you watch a little bit of it. Pretty, uh, pretty damn dramatic video. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I guess we got regional war in the Middle East now. Thanks to Joe Biden, the warmongering Democrats, the warmongering Democrats. World War Three, baby. World War Three. All right, let's just keep going. I, on a happy note, and you'll have to go to my feed because I can't play it because it's got music in it. I, I, I'll play two seconds of it. But uh, it's on my feed at that cyber sick guy on X at that cyber sec guy on X, and uh, you can find me there. It's uh, Kirk Ellis. I just go by my name. I don't have a Megatron Ron or clandestine or any other name. I I'm just me, man. That's that's all I care about. But uh, it's this new song. It's out called. Walk like Joe Biden, and it's put to the music. Remember, walk like an Egyptian. And, and I'll just play two seconds. I hope I don't get a strike on uh, YouTube for a copyright. All right, that's enough. So that's uh, walk like Joe Biden. <laughs> I have never laughed so hard in my whole life. You got to check it out, man. It's on my feed, but uh, I'm sure you can find it. And, of course, the uh, it's at A-M-E-R-I-K-A-N-G, uh, or A-G News Live, A-G News Live. You got to check it out. Uh, let's keep back going through the, uh, the, the news stories. Um, the floating dock project built by the U.S. military at a cost of $300 million has failed and will end its operation next month. What was the real purpose for this? Well, it looked like the real purpose was for uh, Israel and the United States to uh, kill a bunch of Palestinians and uh, rescue four hostages. And uh, uh, anyway, that's I guess that's been the whole purpose of the doc. So let's just keep going. Uh, breaking. Hezbollah. This is what I was talking about, and that's why I wanted to start the video with what I showed you at the beginning. Hezbollah has refused any negotiations with Israel. Full-scale war is more certain. U.S. Special Envoy, and boy, I tell you, people got some weird names. Amos Hashtein announces that diplomatic efforts to calm tensions between Israel and Hezbollah have officially failed, as Hezbollah squarely refuses any negotiation. Israeli media also announced that over the past days, Israel has tried uh, frantically to stop escalation with Hezbollah and to prevent war. But Hezbollah is not interested in de-escalation. Now, I'm, I'm sure that uh, Israel also is not interested in de-escalation. Uh, this was just a kind of a weird story, but I wanted to kind of uh, go into another story. 
uh, how people are affording life right now, and this was Wall Street Silver, auto insurance and health insurance are increasing out of control. Even if you don't have claims and don't use them, these prices are increasing by huge amounts. So I'll give you my example. I made a claim on my auto policy uh, just for 800 bucks. I backed the doggone car into the garage. I had the hatch up and it hit the top of the garage. My insurance jumped from $750 every six months to $1,200. Now, they said that some of the discounts that I was qualified for because I made a claim, I, that's the reason why it jumped up. Okay, I can understand that, but good God, by $450? I, you know, anyway, they're getting their pound of flesh because the $800 they paid, <laughs> they're going to make that back real quick, aren't they? So I'm just telling you, uh, and also there's a bank uh, in um, Japan right now. That see, it's a big bank. Uh, I think it's like the fifth biggest bank in Japan that's failing, uh, and they just cashed in 63 billion dollars in treasuries. And uh, if you ever watch the Economic Ninja, I, I watch him from time to time. Uh, he he gets a little out there for me, but he he is predicting hyperinflation and I tend to agree with him. I do believe that we're going to see hyperinflation as the dollars come running home as people are selling treasuries all around the all around the world. So uh get ready. Uh what can you do? You can buy silver and gold, right? I mean the central banks are buying silver and gold or you can invest in other assets. Uh you might want to buy some uh, commodity stocks. Uh whatever you want, copper, uh I've already bought uranium. Uranium's kind of high right now uh, as far as those stocks went. I've already made my profit on those. Uh, let's keep going. This is absolutely awful. Oh, my God. This was Lord Bebo on, uh, on, on X. Uh, so this Ukrainian soldier, he decides to give up, and he's following a Russian drone to surrender to the Russians. But then a Ukrainian drone, and I won't show it to you because it's too horrible to witness, a Ukrainian drone ends his dream of a happy life. So the Ukrainians blew up their own soldier because he was surrendering. This is what you're supporting with your $200 billion uh, that you sent to Ukraine. Uh, and they blow up their own soldiers when they surrender. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep... Um, this was uh, Noctis Draven. I don't know if that's his real name, uh, but uh, I, I read a lot of his stuff. He's a little bit out there on X, but... Uh, he did say uh, this was I, I, this was another terrible story. The price of war is never paid by those responsible. Yeah, Lindsey Graham, you freaking lunatic! Uh, a Ukrainian soldier awakens in the hospital, eyes and arms gone. The rest of his life decided for him. If there is a woman, she will leave. If there was a future, it is gone. I pray this ends. And it's got a picture of him. I can I can show it to you. I mean, it's it's absolutely horrific to look at. Oh my God! I don't even know why I would do this. All uh, right, so um, this uh, this was interesting. Yeah, this gets back to Hezbollah and Israel, and this is kind of the theme of this video. Although we're going to get into another theme here soon. So uh, breaking Hezbollah's leader in Nasrallah. If Cyprus opens its airports to Israel warplanes, we will attack Cyprus too. Most important parts of today's speech. We have the intel that Israeli Air Force is training in Cyprus to use its airports. We warn Cyprus. If it, well, you've got to understand the geography. Cyprus is just across from Israel on the, uh, in the sea right there. God, I can't remember. Would that, be the Red, would that be the Red Sea? I guess it might be. But anyway, because if you watch uh, uh, Alex uh, of the Duran, he, he makes all his videos in Cyprus, and he was talking about how it's just a... Israel's just a stone's throw away from Cyprus. So I, that, that's, that's the geography, just to let you know. So we have intel that is, is training in Cyprus to use its airports. We warn Cyprus if it opens its airports to Israel during a potential war, we will treat it as part of the war. Hezbollah's manpower far exceeds 100,000. Invading the Galilee remains a definite possibility. There will be a second, third, fourth, and fifth episode of several Israeli cities recorded by the Hood, Had Hood drone. We have footage of Hafia before Hafia, but beyond Hafia, and what's beyond Hafia? The enemy knows that there's not a single point within the Zionist entity we cannot reach. In case of total war, every single ATGM missile and drone will be fired accurately at pre-selected targets. 
The enemy must know that what awaits them in the Mediterranean Sea will not be underestimated. The enemy must expect us to come by air, land, and sea in case of an imposed war on the... Boy, I tell you, the rhetoric is giving her ratcheting up here. <laughs> I mean, my goodness gracious. I guess Hezbollah, man, they're not messing around. They are... They, well, you know, Israel's going to cease to exist. Uh, we will abide by no equations, nor any laws. Let the Zionist enemy and the American masters... Hear this carefully. And I, I love how he put the American masters. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if we're the Israeli masters. I think the Zionists control the U.S. Congress and Joe Biden. Uh, that's just my opinion. So I, I think he should have said the Israeli uh, American masters. Uh, nothing will stop us from carrying out our duty in regards to Gaza. The only solution to closing the fronts in Lebanon, Yemen, and Iraq is simple. Stop the war on Gaza and our Palestinian people. So there you go, man. We're getting getting kind of crazy. Uh, this was uh, interesting. NIH scientists led by Dr. Anthony Fauci made over $710 million in royalties during the pandemic. <laughs> Do you think that little troll should be in drill? Uh, I was going to bookmark it. Rand Paul put out one, and he said that uh, uh, Fauci killed 10 million people, and he's not in jail. <laughs> and he lied to Congress, and he's still not in jail. Yet, uh, Trump may be going to jail uh, July 11th for a, a, an error on a, uh, a, 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 well, it wasn't even an error. I mean, it's how you interpret it. I mean, that his accountant uh, classified a, a payment to Stormy Daniels as an as a election expense. Anyway, so yeah, Fauci kills 10 million people. But it's kind of like Stalin says, kill one person, go to jail. Kill 10 million is just a statistic, right? And that's what the Democrats love Fauci for, because he killed 10 million people. Because that's what Democrats are all about. They're about killing. They're about war. They're about open borders. They're about fentanyl, killing hundreds of thousands of U.S. citizens. Just saying, just saying. Ah, uh, here's a good wake-up call for U.S. Are you listening? U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen states this is not theft. There is no legal issue in stealing Russian sovereign assets since the assets generated income for the institution. Using the same logic, <laughs> I, just, I just love when people post this stuff. Using the same logic, interest income earned on any investment held at a financial institution, even a savings account, could be taken from you because the institution considers it income and not yours. Do you see the death of the dollar? Are you understanding when you steal money, even if it's from Russia or whatever, then it doesn't matter. You're stealing it because you're losing the trust of the world. And the world is selling treasuries just as fast as they can. Everybody's getting away from the dollar. All those dollars all around the world are coming rushing back to the United States. Here's Michael Lee. This is completely outrageous to take the funds that belong to others, even Russia, and use them for whatever they want. Soon I think this government will do likewise to its own citizens. So people are posting all over X. We realize that if you can seize Russia's assets, they can seize yours and mine. Just like Canada did when they seized the truckers' assets. Remember back then? You know, this is what the Western nations are uh, are all about. This is uh, th this gets into uh, what the rest of the video is going to be, and uh, this was from clandestine scenes from North Korea's parade for Putin. So the first video I want you to watch is his arrival in North Korea. Now I want you to look at all the red carpets and the pomp and ceremony. Can you imagine Joe Biden getting greeted like this in, in any country in the world? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I don't even think I saw a video of, of Joe Biden arriving in France during the, uh, the Normandy uh, um, celebration. But let's watch that video now. interesting wasn't that interesting and then then let's get into uh, just a little bit of the uh, pomp and ceremony 
I, this is just a short video. I want you to watch this before I get into my next tweet here. Let's watch that. <laughs> Okay, so that was that. Uh, we'll get a little more news and then we'll get to the rest of the video. Former head of Israeli National Security Council, uh, Giora Eiland, G-I-O-R-A-E-I-L-A-N-D, after the day's drone footage says Hezbollah's military technology is already reaching the levels of Israel's. Hezbollah is an unparalleled advanced army. They have between 70 and 80,000 well-organized, trained, and equipped fighters Hezbollah has closed two gaps with Israel in the recent years, namely precision weapons and drones, with support from Iran. The systems possessed by Hezbollah are no less than the most advanced systems possessed by Israel. So, uh, then, uh, yeah, this was interesting. I, I tell you, I, I, I didn't mean to make this all about Hezbollah and Israel, but it, it, I guess these were all the tweets that I, that it, at the X post. Hezbollah is now broadcasting live drone footage from the Hafia port as well as other military bases in sensitive Israeli lo locations. Israeli air defense systems and radars in the north of the country have been totally knocked out. Defense umbrella, the Israeli's defense umbrella has been breached. All right, so the remainder of this video, you can just fast forward through. I uh, We're going to do two quick videos. This first video is of... Um, Russia flexing their muscles, launching a couple missiles, killing some more fish. And then uh, the second video, uh, that's another brief video. And then I, I have a 17 minute long, I've never done this before, but it was so impressive to me. The, the first thing is I wanted you to note all of the lies that you've been told about North Korea. Uh, in that when you watch this 17 minute long video, uh, at the end, at the end of this video, uh, if you watch it, notice how good of condition the streets are in. Notice the architecture that's taken place. Notice the pictures of Putin all along the way and the motorcade that follows him. Notice all of the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people that are on the sides of the 17 minutes of just nothing but wall to wall people waving at the motorcade as Putin goes by. I mean, Putin was a rock star in North Korea. I've never seen anything like this welcome. There's no president in the United States that I could ever recall getting a welcome like this in any nation on the planet. So, but the thing that was most impressive to me about the video, and that's why I recorded all 17 minutes, was I always thought, always thought you know, I, I thought of North Korea as, as a starving population of, of look, look like San Francisco. That's what I would expect. You know, people laying on the sidewalks, uh, dirty streets, uh, potholes. I was expecting, you know, buildings dilapidated. Uh, there's nothing like that in this video. So I want you to, if you do have the time, and sit and watch it. I mean, just, it's so damn impressive. And then, of course, at the end, it, I show the, uh, the departure of Putin from North Korea. Peace out. Stay free.
Russian-Korean friendship was born out of trials. In 1945, Soviet soldiers fought hand-in-hand -hand with the Korean patriots for the liberation of Korea from Japanese invaders. Our pilots made tens of thousands of flights, battle missions during the war of 51 to 53. And today, as far as I know, the brief laying ceremony will be part of the program. To celebrate the memory of the liberation of Korea and the heroic feats of our predecessors is a good foundation for the development of relations further. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler. That nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later God's gonna cut you down.